Is that the end, Lorraine? Well, yeah, but I'll, they can tweet me now, even okay. though I'm not really watching it. But Fine. And who do I have with me here? Um, Peter Ramos. And to my left, we have... Filling in for Tony, Tony Moore. Moore. James Lee. James Another Lee. Another James. Another James. When Tony's away, we just find people named James and bring them into the studio. <laughs> Basically, that's what happens. That's what we do. We do no, a James shot. is a, a devoted uh, Days of Our Lives fan as well. I am. And if you guys are watching us live, please feel free to chat with us. I see that Cheryl and Nicholas are already there, and Lunatic Nation is laughing. <laughs> um, so feel feel free. I will do my best to keep an eye on the on the news on the live feed. Um, if you're, yeah, that's right there, right? If if you're watching live, it's, left it's right here. over here. And if you're watching this delayed, taped, you can comment down there. <laughs> down there. By my junk. All right. <laughs> um, yeah. And make sure you like us on there when you watch our video. Like us, like us, like us. And if you don't like us, watch another video. Anyway. All right. So let's get into. Well, first of all, we got to introduce. <gasps> That's right. You introduce no, it. Ahead. It's your wait, it's your it's your purchase. Your investment <laughs> in Dish and Days. I just want to introduce our official our Dish and Days hourglass. Round of applause. Round of applause. It's an actual hour, so when this we thing is Thank up, you, Alexis. We spare no expense. <laughs> So we'll be keeping an eye on this, and when this runs out, we're pulling the plug on the show. Yeah, that's <laughs> Basically, that's how this is going to happen. <laughs> no, that's and let's give a little shout out to our lovely lady in the booth, Miss Alexis, back there running Hi, this, running this yes. machine. Yes. All right, guys. So let's get right to it. We had a great show last week. We had Christopher Sean. Yay! I got his name right. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you very much. And Hira Ambrosino. We're both here. It was fantastic. So, anyways, lovely, lovely people. Thank you. Yes. Hello, Cheryl. Harold. She just. Said, hello, Mark. <laughs> all right, Mark. And I know that you sent me the photo. I appreciate that, Cheryl. Thank you so much. Um, all right, so let's get into the nitty gritty. I spun around in my chair in honor of Stefano, Stefano now being reinstated C CEO as CEO of the Mirror Enterprises. Enterprises. Right. How fantastic was that? I know, that was amazing. And he pretty much tricked. Chad as well. It yeah, wasn't well, just Chad uh, didn't even know he was going to be a, be there, and it no. was, I thought it was funny. Not funny, but it was really cool in the boardroom because we had a real boardroom kind of drama mm -hmm. with Kate and Stefano just going head to head trying mm -hmm. to, and then Stefano, <laughs> I don't know what her name is, but Stefano's personal. Uh, assistant I was gonna, I even wrote that was, in my notes too. I'm like, oh, what's with this chick? <laughs> I know she. It was such. Did a, he kiss her when she came in too? Did I? Is that or did he whisper in her ear or something? Whisper. Whisper, okay, he whispered because yeah. I was like, is he kissing her during a board meeting? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't know who she was. But and she, she was a total biatch. Yeah. Yeah, yeah during that. Nasty. Yeah, she's like, um, she I just got an email. Yeah. <laughs> she's Except that one. Of, yeah. She's that one in school. She's that girl. Um, teacher <laughs> at recess, he said. Yeah, that's her. She's that girl. Yeah, she's that girl. Um, <laughs> but Kate's reaction, when Kate, or Billy's, Billy Good. Flynn, I swear to God, that boy, I'm going to hunt him down. His reaction to Kate when she said, uh, what? I'm in control here. He literally like laughs out. Uh, <laughs> I should have, I'll, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to videotape my put TV again and put it on my Twitter because it was pretty darn hysterical. And the whole reason why Stefano was there was because of, uh, what's his name? Judge Pierce. Mm hmm. You know, he had a stay. A stay. <laughs> Staycation. And typical Salem PD didn't find out till a few hours later and missed him completely. <laughs> they were rushing was, all over Salem trying to find him. Yeah. He was already on a plane. He was, he was already on the plane. He was already conducting <laughs> yeah. on the plane. But I love it how they were just rushing everywhere trying to find him and they just like burst into uh, the, Demir, the Demir mansion. Yeah. And then who, who finds them? Harold. Harold. He busts them. Yeah, totally, totally. <laughs> and I love that they just kind of, like, they just walked in. Yeah. Didn't even care. No. Like, hey, we got this. We're just, no, we're going to make ourselves at home. And it's like, I'm, I'm a Demira. Yeah. Once yeah. removed. Uh, <laughs> Peter, uh, we're getting a lot of comments on how much they love our hourglass. Oh, well, thank you. Yes. Yes. Money well spent. Yes, very much so. <laughs> Gives a little zhuzh to our show. Uh, best but turn around, <laughs> Stefano left. Yeah. Yeah. Paloma. So, oh. Sorry. So, yeah. <laughs> this is what happens. Yes, I get distracted. I get distracted by my people in here. Back. So yeah. This is what we got to do. Yeah, we got to bring them back. Reel me back in. Reel me back in. Right, All right, go ahead. And so now Stefano is indebted to Victor. Yes. yes. That's With that phone call, that was amazing. Yeah. And Victor's like, yeah, you owe me now. Now, do we think 
do we think that they've already thought in advance like this whatever he owes him is already oh, do you think Victor already knows what well he's not as I'm for? thinking the writers like do you think oh, this is already like scripted do we already like do they already know where this is going to go like oh, I feel sure. like that was like a setup like let's toss yeah. this out there because oh, yeah. later we're going to really use this for this like they specifically have something I'm hoping that Victor calls Stefano for, to help him out with Clyde yeah. Oh, that yeah. could be. That, that could, could be. That's someone like your bow tie. By oh, the way. thank you. Who is it? Lunatic Nation. Thank you, Mr. <laughs> Lunatic Nation. Mr. Lunatic Nation. <laughs> um, yeah, I thought it was pretty, pretty fantastic that um, he's indebted to Victor. That's good. Because that. you good. know I love me some Victor. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. And when Kate got played, and her response was, she just was like. Well played. Well played. And then just left very, very classy, elegantly. Very classy. <sighs> Lauren, I love you. And, yeah. then, and then Billy or Chad thinks he was going to be co CEO yeah. of the company and stuff and was like, uh uh-uh, uh. Uh uh. No. Yeah. <laughs> played you too, player. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> played the player. And Billy, you are a player. Don't and deny hashtag it. Hashtag Edwin Flynn. In okay. with Flynn. In like Flynn. In, in like, like Flynn. Flynn? In okay, like Flynn. sorry. Yeah. In with. Yeah. And then after the whole thing, what does Kate do? She runs into Victor. Yes. And oh, that was great too. Right? And then when she and she ran to Victor, and then they ran into Hope and Abe. And I love Kate's like, um, oh, if you want to know where Victor is uh, or where Stefano is, I can totally tell you where he is. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. But my cool, the funny, not the funny part, but really cool was at the, at the end when it was just her and Victor, mm-hmm. and then she Victor kind of like drops the hint that. Uh, she might be taking over Mad World. Yes, because he said something about ruffling feathers with Lucas. Yeah. Like, even though Lucas is and doing it, a good job. Yeah, but then her, that little gleam in her eye was like, hmm, I can totally take over Mad World. Yeah. And that's going to be put another rift between her and Lucas yeah. once again. Right. But I, you know what I was thinking, speaking of Lucas, I was thinking the other day, and we had mentioned this with Jen Lilly, mm-hmm. is that now that Samantha's Allison Sweeney is off the show. Yeah. Um, kudos to Jen Lilly and Lucas because she's not there. I think. I think Teresa's getting a lot of the kooky stuff that uh, that Allison Sweeney would normally her okay, Allison, yeah, Sammy would get. I agree with that. And I think because Sammy's not there now, Will goes to Lucas. So we're getting to see more of Lucas, and we're gonna. I okay. hope that it really helps. And I, agree, I mean, I, I, I no, not, obviously not putting down Allison Sweeney by any means. Okay. We all would love to have her back anytime. But I'm just happy that it's giving these other people a chance to. And it's kind of like two sides of, of of Sammy because Teresa's getting all the really good lines where she's just like being sassy and you know clever and, and bitchy, mm-hmm. and then Will is getting the whole crazy Sammy side. Oof. Because he's, he's so crazy now, he, right? He's just so super obsessed. And when I see Lucas talking with Will, just their conversations, I feel like he's talking to Sammy because yeah, he just has totally. that crazy eye. He has like the Sammy crazy eyes, and he's just like, Yeah, like I'm totally, just getting, I just want Paul. I'm totally, here. I'm just gonna read a couple of these because <laughs> we're like getting rest- some, yeah. rationalization in his head. I'm just like, Wow, that's um, so uh, sad. Um, <laughs> Susie Morales Smithley, who I think I did say her name correct last week and this week, um, she thinks that Victor will ask Stefano to to help with Clyde also. Yeah, yeah. totally. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Daquan would like to uh, his weekly reminder. <laughs> <laughs> he literally wrote weekly in capital, weekly reminder towards Mark capital, um, not to insult my girl Melanie. Oh, we yes. haven't gotten to that part of the show yet. So Daquan, you may want to turn us off. Daquan yeah. is one of our. I, I do believe in my notes. I showed you I saw, on the I way here. The I wrote in my notes. I just wrote Mel Melanie equals annoying. annoying. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, you guys. <laughs> sorry, not, are you, I'm sorry. Are you on the Melanie? But train? are you on the Melanie uh, train? Please say you're not. Uh, yeah. Oh, God, I'm great. Not, I'm not. Okay. I'm whatever. I have bookends here. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I, again, it's nothing against Molly. I just. Oh no, I like I, her. Whatever. We're We'll get to that later. Yes. <laughs> um, let's see what else we have. Lucas was awesome this week. Uh, he preached the book on Will. He did. Yes. He did. Well, um, there's something else I will talk about later. Um, and Lucas was not happy with Will. Will was um, showing more interest in his career. Yeah, I agree. Okay. I agree. Once again, that's the total Sammy move right there. Yeah. Thinking totally. about herself and not thinking, put, not putting anybody else in before them. Yeah. Especially her kids. Exactly. You know, exactly. That's what Will's doing. Like, yeah. Oh my God. By the way, did you see that really touching scene with uh, uh, Sunny and um, their kid? 
oh, and Ari. Yeah. Oh my gosh! She, and she climbed out of the crib and yeah, grabbed him. She didn't want to. Put, she didn't want him to put. She it didn't down. want to put it. And, and I was going to comment too. We actually uh, got to see Ari's bedroom. Right. <laughs> Ar, I mean, you know who's going to be upset about this? Who? Who's going to be upset about this? That she's getting all this attention. <laughs> Sierra. Oh, uh, she's gonna be like, um, how come we show Ari's bedroom and not mine? So you know, wait, Sierra. Wait it till, is. Wait, these are the days of Sierra's life. Wait till Ari gets earrings. Oh, it's a whole another episode. I think Nicole should take her to get earrings. That would be fun. Uh, well, since we're talking about Will and them already, we'll just we'll go to their 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 storyline. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, right now. Yeah, might as well. Since we're talking about we're talking about them anyway. Um, yeah. So Sunny returned. Yes. yes. Back into the square, mm-hmm. and Mr. Paul Narita was taking photographs, which was such a cute scene with, with those all the kids. kids. Fernando and. And we're not just saying this because him. Christopher Sean was here last week and we just adore <laughs> him to pieces. Um, but he, that was a cute scene. That was yeah. really, really cute. And then when he looks over and sees Sonny, and it was really. And smile, yeah. It yeah. was really, really nice. Yeah, it was really great. Um, yeah. So he did, and you know, because John is such an advocate baseball guy. <laughs> And it's has been for years. That. I'm trying to grasp, grasp that <laughs> yeah. concept. But, um, yeah, that, that's... And I love that he, like, I love that now Will is in charge of the advertising for the magazine. <laughs> yeah. That John brings him the ads to put on the Sonic. Pictures is it Sonics? Sonics? Yes, Sonics. Sonics. I'm yeah. sure you'll correct me if I'm wrong. Um, <laughs> IX. No. Right. Yeah. <laughs> IX. Um, so yeah, that was that was great. Um, and I loved that. Um, I mean, it just I don't I I really think they're gonna go with. Paul and Sonny. Oh, I mean, I it's just so. too. I hope so. Yeah, I hope so too. And it would be that would be really good because that would push Will even further right. to be crazy, crazy, crazy Will. Yeah, crazy Will. <laughs> Sierra is the next Sammy. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, totally. Totes, yeah. totes, Cheryl, totes. But especially with the scenes with Sierra and Sammy, mm. months, months. Oh back, yeah, that was alrighty. Just, they were setting it up. That was gold. Yeah. Uh, yay for Sunny coming back. I wanted him earlier not to insult my girl. <laughs> him oh, sorry, sorry. Yes, you did, Cheryl. You did warn me. Um, no, stop then, that. They're yelling at me. Sorry. Okay. All right. <laughs> pull back. Um, pull, pull back. back. We're pulling back. back. Sorry. We'll, we'll get to back. Melanie later. She's okay. definitely on my list. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> we'll get to her. Um, so then, uh, and then Will goes back and starts talking with Tori again and threatening her once again, which is like, are you kidding me? He's just... Why? I, I just feel like it, there's not even like any sympathy for him. Like everything no. that he's doing is so self-centered and selfish like there's no love behind it no, there's no nothing. compassion so it's like i don't i right just, now he's my character that i love to hate he cuz i just do not like his character right now i just don't I, he's, I mean, he's, he's, he's starting actor. to fall into a a column with somebody else I, for me <laughs> Well, guys, so Daquan, such a good, who do you think that is? He's such a good actor. That's why I think he's making me hate Will so much. Yeah, you know, because he's pulling it off so well. Yeah, and so I'm just like, oh, I just every time so, he comes on the screen, I just want to reach in there and slap him like Adrian did. There's going <laughs> in, in. I mean, there's going to have to be either Derek's going to have to come back. Well, like, there's going to have to be like at what? least four or five more gays in Salem. That's all I have to say. <laughs> well, because we need to stir the stuff. Stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Did you catch that, Alexis? I almost said it. I almost said it. The stuff up. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, just because I, yeah. At the spot. Otherwise, what are they going to do? Like, what? he's just going to be with Derek? Well, he doesn't have to be there. He'd just be that crazy person who's Who just constantly could, obsessed okay, let's with start, both of let's them. Let's start th- throwing out ideas for Dina and Josh, which we like to do on our show. We like to contribute to their writing. Um, <laughs> who else could have a gay son in Salem? Uh, well, mm, hmm. we're, we're going to say that for later. The Reeds? Maybe a Roberts? What Kate? about... The baby Teresa. Well, okay, that okay, James. <laughs> okay, that's a little young. It's a little young, even for days. Okay, I mean that's putting that's <laughs> taking wow, that's taking Eve to a whole another level. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Welcome to After Buzz, James. That's his contribution. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm thinking boy. somebody. Me. Thank, thank you, thank you, Alexis. Thank you. I'm thinking. What about? Because we know we've been hearing oh, you rumors. Wanna, you want to bring that up now? Yeah. Why not? Okay. Well, I'm just thinking. Well, I don't know if this is the same one we were talking about. Oh. I'm thinking. What about uh, Joey? Okay. Well, but he's a Brady too. Um, Kayla's. Well, sorry. yeah, Kayla and Steve. I'm just thinking of options. <laughs> just throwing options. I'm just throwing options out there. Because I like to do that. Well, we could bring Rex back. Who? 
Rex? Who's Rex? Rex. I am the twins, the Gemini uh, twins. Oh, he was cute. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah. So, okay, let's see. Anything else? Or, or uh, uh, Sonny's friend, the one that he was going to help build the club with. Remember? He oh, him, that's right. He could come back. That's totally. right. And, and they um, had a whole gaggle guys, of gay friends there. Don't remember that when they were all going out and Sunny? Yeah. Going out, oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Um, K two. Does anybody? And, and you maybe you know this? Do we do we know the name of Victor's Club yet? Yeah, it was uh, end of the end, end of, of the, the park. End of the. You guys write in the chat room if you know the name of it, because I can't, I, I, I'm... Edge of the square. Edge of the square. Edge of the go. square. Yeah, okay, I think it is something like that. Okay. Edge of the square. You guys, correct me. Fact check me, <laughs> if you don't mind. <laughs> they will, trust me, James. Oh, I know they will. Yes, they will. James, laugh out loud. They liked your idea. Thank you. <laughs> Hasht- wow. Hashtag bring... Well, you know, Salem children always grow up fast anyway, so they do. Yeah, yeah that's true. Next week, he'll be in college. That's what the term called Soras. Yeah. Soras? Yeah. Soap, opera, rapid aging syndrome. Oh. Oh. Never, never heard that. Oh, what? Yeah. Soras? I drink a lot, though. Oh, so. okay. There we go. Expl- oh, yes. Whatever. <laughs> this is water, guys. This is water. I love Just so water. you guys know. Um, hashtag bring Brian back. Is that his name? Is that the, the gay? The gay, yeah. Yeah. That's Brian? Friend. Okay. I, I have no doubt Cheryl is on top of it. Bring Rex back. Yes, Rex. Um, yes. Where is or, Tony? Or, oh, yeah, Tony is not here. Sorry, I didn't say earlier. He is in Australia. <laughs> Still in Australia. Still in Australia. Sorry. Oh, or or T can. Sorry, con- Miranda. T can convert. T could convert. That would be awesome if somebody else they. That was so anti anti gay with Will at yeah. that time. Yeah. Um, Daquan, what is he saying? But I do want Wilson broke up. So either Paul or Will doubt it, or Paul or Sunny. And Derek with either Will or someone. Okay, Dick Warren, you basically like, I just <laughs> shuffle the deck. Whoever wants to be with whoever. Exactly. Um, I love Paulson. Love me some Paulson. Love the high hair mark. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I did get a cut. I don't know if you noticed, but I did get a cut. <laughs> and colored. And- <laughs> Rude. Alexis, can you like green screen him so he kind of goes away now for us? That was rude. Highlights. I was talking about the highlights. Highlights. I'll give you highlights. <laughs> All righty. Um, so let's move to Brady, Teresa, and Melanie. Yeah. I have Brady, Brady, Teresa, Clint. I have. By Brady, the way, Teresa in my Melanie. notes. Yeah. Oh, he does have Melanie. I see it over here. I know. <laughs> All right. So Clint comes back. And how funny, okay, the scene where he gets down on his knees to Teresa was hysterical. When he's, like, asking her, like, to forgive, to forgive him, him and stuff. And I thought, and honestly, and you know, sometimes they do stuff where you're just, it's like, so, oh, don't forgot to do no. my, oh God. forgot, that was, that's for <laughs> you, you know what that's, that's for? for you, Christopher Sean. That was uh, mentioned last time. Yeah, from uh, House of Cards. Yes. Yeah, so I'm going to be the new. <laughs> yeah, it's our new thing. Um, that's for Christopher Sean. Um, no, he came back. And, you know, sometimes on, 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 when they like try to cover their tracks or mm-hmm. come up with excuses, they're very far fetched and stuff. Oh, but well, I thought like when he was gone. Yeah, but I oh. thought his excuses and like everything seemed oh, like, pretty believable and pretty on track and all yeah. that stuff. And I loved the, him getting on his knees to her and just like blowing smoke up her booty. <laughs> Yeah, I think my mom's watching. That's for you, mom. I don't say bad words. Um, so yeah, and then he, and he was following Brady. Clint was following Brady with his little dart gun, um, and actually shot him. I thought which it was gonna was, be like the elephant, where it took a week for him to shoot him. Which um, was, I thought was kind of funny because um, uh, when he followed Brady into the Kyriakis Mansion. The new room that we're seeing from the Kyriakis Mansion, I thought it was like on a second floor or something. And when yeah. we came in through the patio doors, yeah. I was like, okay, well, that's see, a level I, floor. See, I did. I'm sorry, that's the things I noticed. I'm sorry. No, no, I, and I agree. There are that room and the Demira room yeah. are different, supposedly different rooms. Yeah, I, think see, I the didn't. Floor. I never heard that because I get up to get pizza rolls a lot. But I, so I may have missed it. But I just thought that they just redesigned the rooms and were like, okay, this is the same room. <laughs> like, like that was kind of how I house? took it as is it's like not a guest house, is it? No, no it's, their, it's house. their house. I just thought that they just kind of like 
remodeled it. Budget cuts. I don't know. Like somebody came oh, back. Like the Brady put or the Brady booth. Yeah, the Brady booth now. Yeah, exactly. The Brady pub booth. That's what I thought it was. That but yeah, no, it was on the. So you were saying it was on the ground yeah. floor. Yeah, so I th- I'm assuming it's on the ground I, I floor. I think it now. is. I think it's actually supposed to be the same room. It's no, just don't remodeled. Say that. Yeah. Because that means we won't get the old Kyriakis mansion back, which was pretty awesome. Well, you mm-hmm. never know. We never know. Oh. Um, so he anyway, sh- so he shoots Brady. Brady passes out, and then. We think we, it's made to look like he's injecting him with something, but we, really he was, he was drawing blood. Was drawing right. blood. And then can I just tell you, I mean, this is, again, Mr. I'm just thinking of, of reality here. When he's trying to be all, like, smooth and he's, like, pulling up, pulling on his gloves, putting on his gloves and everything like that, and he bites the cap of the of a syringe and just pff, spits it across the room. I'm like, that's evidence, buddy. Yeah. Well, I don't know about the Salem PD finding that. Well, I was going to say, <laughs> you leave droppings of blood, you're going to be dirty gloves. They'll be like, oh, someone lost a dirty glove. Let's go figure out this out. Yeah. No. Yeah, when he's like, like that's DNA right there that they can just. I thought the same thing too when he threw it, but mm. it's Salem PD. You ain't got to worry about yeah. it. Um, but uh, some uh, Daquan says he also agrees uh, about T. He saw a scene between him and Sonny and was like, hmm, maybe T wants to <laughs> couple with Sonny. <laughs> T wants some tea. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and I'm gonna read this just because. Thank you, Cheryl. Um, she says, "I love Melanie, but I think uh, she is too awkward with Brady. I want Teresa and uh, back with Brady." Yeah. And Teresa I, and Brady. I, uh, I mean, 100. I mean, honestly, like if you, it's just they're for more of a fun couple. They're more fun. Melanie is just, I, I, and and this isn't just a Melanie thing. And I said this about Paige. You will attest to this, but I've said this about Paige. Mm-hmm. I just don't. It's whiny people, and mm-hmm. Melanie comes off whiny to me. So that's I think my aggression towards her is that I just don't like whiny and she's always just <laughs> and Paige is the same way and I, I complain about Paige so I think that's you know just some, me you know what somebody told me and you'll probably agree with this that Melanie goes through the five stages of grief within five seconds within five seconds <laughs> absolutely 100% <laughs> she does yeah, yeah. But wouldn't, Melanie, wouldn't it be cool if Melanie went back with Chad or try to go back with Chad. And I have a feeling they're going to do that. I mean, I, do, I hope so. And see, that's my point. That was, is like, were, I think they were a good couple, Chad and... Uh, stop it. I think Chad and Melanie were a good couple. <laughs> Thank you for joining us on After Buzz TV. <laughs> we are now done. <laughs> hashtag, I can't even. That's my new hashtag, guys. I can't even. No, that's not going to happen. Why? Because I will kill her. <laughs> I will be the You're new right. serial killer, and I'm going right for Melanie, and I'm beheading her so she can't come back to life. Done. And it'll be her twin. That you yeah, that'll be my luck. Right. Marsha. <laughs> Melanie's twin, Marsha. Yeah, no. Um, so anyway, so then Clint tried to... Back in, to them. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I'm shifting gears. Back to uh, Clint. Yes. He went to... Make love to Teresa, and then tried to inject her. But then there was a knock at the door, and who was it? And it was my girl Melanie. <laughs> oh, he said my girl. I, it is my girl. Well, only for this one line wow. because she did. Because <laughs> Teresa did say, "What is your skinny bleep doing at my door?" And Melanie's response: First of all, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> so I have to give her props for that. But that was Good. the writers. That's not Melanie. Um, <laughs> so, but yeah, no, that was funny. So she came, and of course. I just think it was a. This was a little far fetched for me, what? that because Teresa in the hospital makes a comment uh-huh. that Brady needs to be on drugs to be with her, which is hysterical. Thank you very much. <laughs> that all of a sudden Melanie thinks that Teresa did this to him. Oh, which like is okay. like really? She's like she's not. Come on. Yeah, Teresa would not do that. She her. wouldn't do that, oh, and it just personally. shows you how kooky Melanie is. Well. I was going to bring it up because you were talking about making love Mm -hmm. Uh, when Brady and Melanie were making love. And then you saw her tattoo meant to be. Oh, I didn't see that. Oh, Uh, (laughs) this was was me. This is me when the Melanie Brady love scene. (laughs) I got to watch for after buzz. 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 (laughs) There was a whole scene where he like touches. She's a little tattoo says meant to be right here on her side. Didn't see it. No, I didn't see it. No, No. my eyes were burned. God. Didn't see it. No, mm-hmm. sorry. Moving on. Wow. And now, and now, the other thing sorry, I was going to say about I tried. Yeah, <laughs> um, is that um, what Teresa? Since we're talking about Teresa, okay. we're, we're getting we're getting out into little tidbits and stuff. But okay, we'll I was going to say that um, uh, Teresa, when she was drunk, 
at the beginning of the week mm-hmm. at the showcase and stuff, which I did ask for more drinking in Salem, and I am. <laughs> and you're getting I it. I am definitely getting it, and you're I love it. every minute of it. But we're also, she, we've now switched from slut to skank. Did yeah, you know, she's we're, like, still, we're still getting skank. Working the skank thing. So uh, <clears throat> thank God you didn't create a slut. Hashtag? Hashtag for us, Alexis, because now we would have had to change it to skank. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, what was that? Yeah, oh, <laughs> feedback. Feedback. <laughs> All right. Um, so, angry masses. what is that? Do we know what that is, Alexis? We're getting feedback in here. Is that you, Alexis? You making pizza no. rolls back there? Yes, I'm making on? pizza rolls. Back <laughs> like here. a little frying sound. Yeah, I don't know what was happening. I know. I came in today. Accident. The first thing I said was, "I'm hungry. I could really use those pizza rolls." <laughs> 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 I should have just. Okay, yeah, I see it now. Yeah, oh, okay. it's just one of the sound booths doing something weird. Okay, oh, gotcha. Okay. Ignore me. Alrighty. Um, all right. So some other tidbits of information from this week. So you um, brought up Peter J. J. Yeah, J. go ahead. Showcase. Yep. Yep. So that was that was kind of fun. Him singing his little uh, uh, pagey song. That he wrote for her. Uh, that they wrote together. No, yeah, whatever. Mm. <laughs> that Eve was just. Oh, <laughs> JJ. Right? With the flashbacks. Yeah. <laughs> to the couch. <laughs> the moments on the, when they made love. Mm-hmm. Right. For, Cougar for, love for the first time. Yes, Her, Cougar and Cub. Yes, and then then and then JJ and and then I love though like it, it just feels like it it just keeps and I'm gonna I'm gonna go there I don't well, I'm not a fan ahead. of Paige and I just like I don't care that you guys are back together like they kissed and I was like mm. and <laughs> did you see how they were both wearing purple. Oh, they were. Mm-hmm. I didn't know until yeah, you said it. Yeah. But yeah, they were. I thought that was nice. But at least and they were wearing black jackets. <laughs> <laughs> he has a thing against black jackets. I know. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Jackets. They're with a sale. Yeah. He, yeah. Eve was all gaga over him in the song. And like just everybody, like Eve, Jennifer was there and Eve was there and Paige was watching from a distance. But actually, I did. Actually, I was happy that JJ Casey got to play the guitar because he is uh, a good yeah. musician. So I was happy that they were. Actually, JJ was wearing a black jacket. Yeah, he was. He was. He, it's him. Don't don't hashtag me, you guys. You guys, go ahead. Go ahead. Let's go ahead. Go ahead. Let me see it. Let me see it. Page is boring and dull. Thank yeah. you, Amber. Amber baby, one hundred. Page is so boring and dull. I don't get why JJ is obsessed with her. Mm. Amber, find, find me on Facebook, on Twitter. We will be friends forever. I agree, one hundred percent. So, who would JJ go with other than Eve? I know, Do you really smile. want me? Do you I really want me to smile. answer that? Did you see that smile right when Do you I really said want it? me to answer that? Roxanne. Oh yes, Roxanne. You want to bring Roxanne back? Well, just yeah. good. No, and that, did you that, see? I, the, I don't know if you guys saw there. There was a poll that uh, I think it was Soap Opera Digest did of Would you like? And like sixty, I put it on here. Hold on, I put it in my notes. Sixty, sixty-three point nine percent of fans wanted her back. Wow. So it's not just me, Tony Moore. I don't know if you're watching this. <laughs> <laughs> Who are the other candidates? Uh, no, it was just if they wanted her back or not. Oh, if they wanted her back. I think okay, that was okay. just the general question. Did you like her? Did you think she should come back to the oh, show? Okay. And 63.9% nice. wanted her back. So nice. I was like, good. It's not just me. And I really think that there was a... And then there was a scene, too, where... Um, was it Daniel and Abby that were having a conversation about JJ and they mm-hmm. both were like, yeah, Roxanne's not even his type. And I was like, are you, because <laughs> Paige is? Because Paige is his type? Are you kidding me? Pagey. 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 All right, let's see what else, what's going on in this room here. Um, so yeah, so now JJ and Paige are back together. So oh yes! To go. Cheryl, when they what? did the moaning music. For oh, oh, yeah, that's hello Thank you, to Cheryl. The, they totally did that. Yeah, they oh, totally did that. Hey. <laughs> yeah, that's Nick that's agreed too. Yeah, yeah. I know. I, I think I even went on. He's like, "What was that?" Yeah. Or something. I'm like, "Yeah, you totally hello, forgot about." Didn't we agree that that was her her next CD dropping? That yeah, the, the, the yeah. Her her album that didn't happen. <laughs> Sorry. Pop of those folks. It happened to Julie Andrews too. All right, thank you, Alexis. Okay, so JJ and Paige are back together, and so it's funny that now she has to go back and talk to, with Cole and break it off with Cole now, because mm-hmm. with that date. Yeah. Um, so the date, but the date that never happened. The date well, never happened, but did happen. It started. Right, and then so, she got sick, and that's why she left. Oh, is that okay. what it was? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Pizza rolls. Hashtag <laughs> pizza rolls. <laughs> I knew something happened that I missed. Okay, so here's you guy. Just so you guys know, this is what happens when I watch Jay's Fire. Okay, sure. I turn sure. it on. We got other stuff. To I do. turn it on. I start <laughs> watching, and then a fly by, flies by, 
mm-hmm. and I get distracted, like my dog. <laughs> I, get, I get very distracted. Oh, okay. I, so it's hard for me to. It's very hard for well, if you guys can't tell from watching the show. It's hard for I'm me to. Here to bring you back. Yes, he, he reigns me in. He definitely reigns me in, especially back. when I'm sitting over there. Yeah. When I'm over here, I'm on my own. So, totally. um, so then we also we, found out. Can we move to um, uh, Nicole? Yes, that's exactly Serena. where I was going next. Nicole, Serena. Um, they had a little run-in in their We're animal jackets. In their animal jackets. <laughs> 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 Meow. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> They're fighting. Uh, yeah, and um, and then we, um, they have their moment, which is just, and we, and Nicole. I don't know if we're gonna touch. I don't think we, we put this in our news and gossip, but Melissa Archer is leaving the show. Oh, she is. Yeah. Oh. How did you miss that? <laughs> like, are you ever on the internet? I mean, it's everywhere now. Yeah. yeah. She's leaving the show. Oh, okay. And actually, they also said that somebody else is leaving the show in the summer, because they posted a thing saying somebody was leaving in the summer, and okay. everyone kept putting Melissa Archer, because they've been posting all this stuff that she's leaving the show, and everyone's like, it's not Melissa Archer. Stop saying Melissa Archer. Somebody uh-huh. else is leaving. So okay. who do we think? Who else do you think? Mm-hmm. I a think female my, or male? I think it's female. I think they said female. Um, I'm, I'm thinking Paige. When she finds out about her, and yeah, I think JJ she's just gonna go to Stanford finally. Yes. Finally, <laughs> find okay. another boring guy. I thought Stanford. you were gonna say Melanie. I mean, I mean, that's my dream, <laughs> but I don't think that's gonna happen. That's gonna, it's gonna take Dina and Josh a while to write that in for me. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, so back to Serena. Yeah, so Serena, <laughs> and, and then now we, we find now out know her boss, Navidad. Navidad, or Felice, James, as Felice J- Navidad. James likes to say Felice Navidad. <laughs> I love it. And she killed Fred. Yes, yeah. she. Killed Parker's Kim. very upset. He's gonna be upset. That was for you, Cheryl. <laughs> <laughs> um, Our precious pachyderm. Yeah, Fred. Yeah. Now we won't be able to talk about him anymore. I know. Well, or will we? I. But here's we'll my talk about request, his twin brother Ted. <laughs> here's here's my request, though, from Days of Our Lives. Clearly, they're not going to need the elephant anymore. Oh, Can you? we have it here at AfterBuzz <laughs> <laughs> to sit next to our hourglass? Okay. I think that'd be fantastic. Well, I did ask okay. Christopher last week how many how many elephants do they yeah. have, and he kind of like stalled a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's at least two that we know of. <laughs> at least. At least. At least. I wonder who made those. I hope it's not Freddie. And then, needs to. No, I don't think Freddie's leaving. And then Eric confirms Nicole's suspicions about Serena. Okay. Yes. Yes. So and then, now, the, and like Eric, Eric, you said Eric, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was reading, so sometimes yeah, I, I'm just really I'm trying back, to. Mark. <laughs> I got a lot going on here. Um, no, he did, and and then he even says he says, and then he says that that he gave the elephant, and then she's like, oh, there's two, mm-hmm. and so you can tell that Nicole's starting to like put it all together. You can totally yeah, tell yeah. that she's starting to put it together. I just um, want to see when she runs into Serena again what she's going to say. Oh, like it's going to. Go yeah, it's I, it's just. Uh, yeah, no, I agree. <laughs> yeah. I agree. Um, and also, um, to make me fly to LA and make me personally <laughs> uh, Daquan is yelling at me. He's going to personally fly to LA and beat me. <laughs> Sorry, Daquan. I don't know what I said. I'm sure it had something to do with Melanie, but okay, so I'm sure. Um, but right. the scene, can we talk about Which the shaving scene? Oh. <laughs> Are you. Kid. Okay, this was my it's honest a to God. Very I literally thought this. Shaving scene. This is literally what I thought. I thought the old writers were like, "Let's go out with a bang. Let's do something oh. stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Let's write this." I mean, that was the most idiotic thing was I've that ever a seen. In my, scene to watch, or it did was, you even watch it? Oh, I watched. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I did have to rewind a couple of times because I kind of started drifting. <laughs> but I was just like, "What is going on?" Yeah, that was, with that this? was weird. It was very it was awkward. So, I wish it was a dream sequence, but it wasn't. It wasn't was an actual. No, it really happened. <laughs> <laughs> and it was two. One day they showed the whole thing, and then they showed. Yeah, it continued so, the next yeah. day. Yeah, I think it was Thursday, Friday. Yeah, and I the think fun, it spilled over. The thing is, and then I, I know this is not one of your quotes, but this is one that I heard when you say he's like, <laughs> "Oh yes, yeah." <laughs> when Daniel tells. Uh, uh, Nicole, you wanted to shave me so people can see the real me. Well, I want to see the real you. Yeah, and I totally thought he was going to shave her. Right. Like, she might, I'll take care of that mustache for you, Nicole. Wow. For you. <laughs> yeah. I was going for the legs. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> Just uh, for legs. Oh, my God. Nicole wished she would, would have slashed Daniel's throat. Yes, lunatic nation. I agree. All right. <laughs> Thank you, now, Alexis. Uh, so, my opportunity is to open up the darn elephant. Yeah. I can't even deal with the elephant. So, then we also now know that Serena is a jewel thief. 
Well, yes, mm. with the rock, the decorative rocks. Right. That you put in a vase. <laughs> They're diamonds. No, they're not. They're diamonds. No, they're not. We can buy that at Beth Bath and Beyond. They are Days of Our Lives diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> they are Days of Our Lives diamonds. Days of Our Lives diamonds. Uh, Dana Royalty uh, Post and Melanie was only on a short cut. Co- <gasps> so. Really? Jeff Crowder says Daytime Royalty posted Melanie was only on a short contract. There you mm. go. Oh, Jeff. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I am going to sleep very well tonight, Jeff. Thank you so much for that. All right, Appreciate Mark, it. Sorry, Cheryl. Our, our Sorry, Daquan. Right, oh, we're getting down low. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, so but I we want to go to uh, talk about um, Justin and Adrian. Yes. When they argue. Mm-hmm. And Justin finally agrees that he had an affair with Elsa. Yes. So what I want to pose a uh, question okay, to let's the see. chat room. Okay, guys, in the Actually, chat room, pay attention. So who, Focus. <laughs> who, He's asking a question. Who was the, uh, Adrian kind of tells Justin, um, I've already accepted this from you before. So who was the other person that Justin had an affair with? Do you guys know? Anybody? Does anyone know? Here, let me see. I well, know now. Well, yeah. yes. He Googled it. He Googled it. <laughs> I, <did. laughs> I, Cheater. I do. There's a lot of stuff I know, but I, some stuff, like I've been, I was telling James on the way here, I started Googling, like YouTubing old episodes uh-huh. and stuff. I was uh-huh. watching my girl Lisa Rinna's first episode and stuff like that. Um, and there's stuff that like, I watch and I'm like, oh my God, I totally forgot about that person. Or I totally, mm-hmm. for, I totally forgot that there was a, a different Carrie for a while. Oh, yeah. Like, a different Jennifer, too. Yeah. yeah. Like, I just completely when forgot Peter about Peter kidnapped Jennifer. For that one yeah. time, and took her to the circus or yeah. something like that. <laughs> that was um, so, so, does anybody say anything? No, no, no one's okay. really commenting on. Wait, wait. wait. Oh, Nicholas. Did he get it? Who right? is also the head of my my campaign manager for did hashtag Bring Jack Back? Did he get it right? <laughs> Thank you, Nicholas. He actually did get it right. So, Angelica. Devereaux. Angelica Devereaux. Very good, Nicholas. Very good. I'm proud now, of you. Now we now we got to go even further. So okay. now Angelica Devereaux who had a son with Justin, who is Alexander Kyriakis now. Yes. Okay. Which, um, she was with Harper Devereaux. Yes, I remember Harper. Harper Devereaux. And who had an adoptive son named... Mark. (laughs) A son named Mark? Mark. No. No. I'm jetting. Harper and Angelica had an adopted son named... Alexander. No. I really? see it on your notes. I know you see it on my notes. Just say it. Billy. <laughs> yeah. Billy, no. Jack oh, Devereaux. Oh. oh, Jack. Yeah. yeah. Whose real name is... Sorry. Is... Oh, I just saw this. There was a... a Johnson. <laughs> Johnson. Billy... Billy Johnson. Billy Johnson. <laughs> Billy Johnson. Yeah. 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 So that's good. So All right. Go. No, they're getting... Uh, Cheryl got Angelica, too. Who's the son of Duke and Joe Johnson? Yep. Yep. And Joe was... Who's made? My head. Oh, come on. I'm trying to bring it all the way back. I'm trying to bring it Who all the way it? back. Huh? Who is it? She was uh, Neil Who's Curtis's Neil maid. Curtis's maid. That's right. Mm, yeah, who she was? was oh, my God. Oh, Hopes. <laughs> Neil. Oh, no, he was a doctor. Neil. He was a doctor, yes. He was a doctor at the hospital. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then all right, this is way too many quiz questions. Yeah. Way too many quiz <laughs> questions. It's like Anita Vodka Stinger. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Serena. Serena Vodka Stingers. Vodka Stingers was like 1965. <laughs> Serena. Just call you guys anytime you're in the club and you need a drink, call me and I will do it. All right. All right. Okay, guys. Let's move on to. So Tony's not here, so I guess we're. And he didn't send us a video for you three snaps. You using gossip really quick before we do our, our bits? No, let's do our bits first. You want um, to do our bits first? Okay. Yeah. Um, Tony, because we only have yours and mine because Tony's not here. Oh. So your WTF for today. Well, it would have to be the shaving scene, of course. Totally. Yeah, come yeah. on. I mean, it was just dumb. It was horrible. Dumb. Horrible. Needs to be redone. And then you yeah. also wanted to talk about what the pictures. Oh, t- oh, we're gonna yeah. do that first. Yeah, why okay, not? Sure, why not? Yeah. Uh, uh, Alexis, do you have those pictures ready? All right, awesome. So, uh, as the people probably already know, the last time Tony was out, I had a little fun contest, uh, which. Uh, was a uh, caption that picture. So we, I decided to do that. We couldn't do it last week, so I'm going to do it this week. I told Alexis to pick the picture. <laughs> so we want to caption that pic. If you can see Mark. <laughs> oh, that one. <laughs> caption oh. that pic. So I want everybody to caption that pic and hashtag. Can I caption it right now? Go ahead. Can I throw in my suggestion? Go right on. I think the caption is, ooh. 
Melanie's leaving Salem. <laughs> That's what I think it is. Sorry, Daquan. So we got you guys. I want you guys to caption that pic. Hashtag Dish and Days. Hashtag ABTV Days. Yeah. And the prize this week is going to be um, this Days of Our Lives tote that was signed last week from Christopher and Hira. And Hira. So yeah. this is going to be the, the prize. I'll sign week. it too if you want. <laughs> I'll, I'll do a hair print. And there's going to be yeah. an also an 8x10 picture of Hera. She left. Yeah, so she did sign a couple. So we can give it to the fans. And uh, just a quick uh, shout out here over here. Uh, yeah. James yes. uh, has a little connection with uh, Miss um, Eileen Davidson. Oh, I do. You work on another show. I, am I allowed to say the show? You can say the oh, show. Yeah. I yeah. worked on uh, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. It was uh, amazing. Yeah. Um, and Eileen and, of course, Lisa Rinna. My girls. Yes, amazing. girls. They're amazing ladies. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Very talented. Yeah, so he, great. yeah, he gets to rub elbows with them, guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you need an assistant to carry your bag with you right. to work, <laughs> I'd be more than happy to. And I, but I cannot guarantee that I will not accost one of them. <laughs> All right, so let's get into a little. Oh no, I'm gonna do my quote of the week. Yeah, do your I'm gonna do my quote of the week. It oh, goes to. Can we? Yeah. Quote something real quick. Yeah. Okay, it's for to enter the contest. Like I said, either uh, hashtag Dish and Days, hashtag ABTV Days. Uh, you can put it on my Twitter uh, or my Instagram at the Real Dooligan, or you. You can also put it on our Facebook page now that we have is Facebook slash Edition Days. So you can put yeah. your uh, submissions in there, and then we'll choose a winner for next week, and then I'll send it out to you Absolutely. guys. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. All right, go ahead. Sorry. And did you want to – there was something you wanted to say. Didn't you want to do a, a segment? You were oh. like, I want to do a segment. I, my segment, segment would be – I know. He I, wanted, James didn't get to do a segment. He drove me here, so time. I couldn't say no. Oh, so Jesus. mine will be James's memory lane, and I want to bring back <laughs> – He's like you. He likes to go down memory lane. Okay. Dr. Laura Spencer uh, stuck in Jennifer Horton's house, and she walks up and goes, where are my pills? And then Nurse, <laughs> Nurse Lynn will have them ready for her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Laura. Oh, kooky, crazy Laura. She should come back. That'd I should start fun. a new hashtag. Well, she did. There's come so back many for people. There's when so Jennifer went but to I have her. to say, when they bring those people back, I hate when they bring them back and then they don't give them anything. So that's annoying to but me. But she, she was so. on screen. That was nice to see. Yeah. Yeah. So, so my quote of the week this week will go to Miss, <laughs> and I shouldn't have picked her just because we always have a hard time saying her name, Miss Cassie DePava, DePava, DePavia, go for something it. like that. That's something like that. Eve. I love it's Eve. Eve. Summer and Eve. it's when she was talking to Cole about Paige. Running out of time. And he's like, you know, you're so, oh my God, you approve me. Oh my God, we are getting low. Um, and she says, well, he says, do you, so you approve of me saying Paige? And she says, well, for now, but if you do anything to hurt my daughter, you'll have to answer to me. And just so we're clear, that rap sheet included running someone over with a car. You understand? Pop quiz, who does she run over? Yep. Facebook it, put it down there. <laughs> Tell us. All right, let's do some quick news and gossip, if you don't mind, Alexis. Do we have audio? Oh, yes. There it is. There After Buzz TV News. <laughs> All right, you guys. Coming up in Atlanta on April 11th is the Do Coast Events. Um, Oh, is, oh, there oh, there it is. Yeah, it should be coming out. And there it is. In Atlanta, April 11th, um, our fabulous Tony Moore will be hosting the event with Jen Lilly, Cassie DePavia, <laughs> she's going to kill me for some uh, Galen Gehring, oh, Guy Wilson, Patsy Peace, Eric Martinsoff, Daniel Cosgrove, and Christopher Sean will also be there. Uh, so if you're in the Atlanta area around April 11th, make sure you get tickets at www.dualcoastevents.com. Also, um, Ari Zucker is actually coming up. March 27th, 28th, and 29th. She's doing a fundraiser for her nonprofit, Arrow Heart. Uh, she's going to be there with uh, Sean Christian, Dr. Daniel Jonas, <laughs> Melanie's dad. Um, maybe Melanie will be there, Daquan. You should get tickets. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's March 27th in Sacramento and then the 28th and 29th in Folsom, California. So if you're in those areas, please get tickets. Also, I was going to mention, I meant to mention that we didn't get to news and gossip last week, but uh, Christopher, Sean, Guy Wilson, and uh, Freddie Smith. Yes. Yeah. Sorry. Hmm. <laughs> had a brain fart. Um, they're going to have an event on May 2nd here in Studio City at the Sportsman's Lodge. Uh, if you go to www.hangwiththeguys.com, it's got more information. I do believe it's Freddie's uh, fundraiser. I think he's doing it and the guys are going to be there together. And hopefully we'll get to go and maybe like interview people. That would be fantastic. Be maybe for After Buzz they would let us That'd do that. Cool. At Alexis, maybe you could put in a good word for us. Um, so, and then okay. you had a, a little... Paul Teffler 
is oh, going yes. is going to be on next week as uh, the character Xander. Hopefully that's going to be Alexander. Alexander. That's what we're thinking, guys. Yeah, he's mm-hmm. probably going to come back and start Maybe a little Sonny's big brother. Or and we you said that And he, I think if I'm not mistaken in the preview, he is connected to the diamonds that Serena is found. trying to so, so he's the big guy. And then also okay. we welcome back Peter Reckle and Stephen Nichols yep. are going to be coming back. Cover his eye. <laughs> Catch. Oh, is it that one? <laughs> we have Bo and Steve returning, so that that's going to be really exciting to yeah. see that. That's going to be fun. That storyline with Hope and Aiden. And Aiden. I heard and somebody then, say that it might be interesting that if that that Hope and Aiden might actually get married, and like he did in the past, he oh, shows up at the away. door and uh, like, t- yeah, I don't know if that will uh, happen, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and we have Tony again. Yeah. yeah. Oh, but, and then with holes, uh, with a, a Patch coming back, that's going to bring back also, they're casting right now for Joey Johnson. Yeah. So, in theory. Yeah. And an African-American 16-year-old as well. Yeah, I think it's for his Maybe name is Theo. Elijah, so they're going to oh, Sora's okay. him, probably, and because okay. they're casting it for an autistic okay. character, so yeah, All right. that's going to go. So All right. we're going to wrap this up now. So. so, any predictions? Anything you think? Well, I think we just did. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we kind of did. We, well, those are, but those are TV. soap opera digest. They're telling us what's happening. What do you think? I, I honestly, and I, I was going to say this last week, I 100% think that JJ and Eve will sleep together again. I don't think it's done. I, I really do. And clearly that brought like, silence to the room. Right. But I really do. I really think they're going to sleep together again. Really? I really do. Okay. I'm hoping now that Kristen's coming back, I believe, next month. I think I'm it's when she brings May. Peter with her. Peter yes, Blake. Because they've been mentioning him, like, they yeah. him a lot. Yeah, they, they have been mentioning him a lot, 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 could be, although he's technically not a Demera. He's an adopted Demera. He's an adopted Demera, but he's not a Demera, and that would make me happy yeah. because I said I didn't want him to be a Demera. I did say that. Um, I do have one other prediction. Uh huh. Um, that they were going to bring Jack back. <laughs> Sorry, I I, I went the whole. So but for the record, no, I, I didn't say it once. Yes. I didn't say it kudos. once, except for now. And what Hashtag you? bring Jack back. Okay, okay so, so to find me on social media, you can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Lorraine Love, L O R A Y N E L O V E. And I have a new Facebook page, uh, facebook.com backslash the Mark J. Freeman. That's me. How do they find you guys? Uh, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram of The Real Dooligan. And also, again, you can find all of us at our new Facebook page, Facebook hash, slash Dish and Days. So you and can you, just. And James? My Twitter is James Lee DC. And my Instagram is Jameson9878. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for joining us. We love having you here. Thank you to everybody who joined us in the live chat. And now that you are going to be watching this tape delayed on YouTube, <laughs> comment below. Make sure you click the like button. We love you guys. A shout out to Alexis back there. Thank, Thank you for Alexis. everything you do for us, shout Alexis. We love you. Crew. And I'll see them in yes, Tuesday. Then. Yes. And if my mom was watching, I love you, Mommy. Mwah. Have a good night. Bye, Cheryl. Bye, Daquan. Bye, um, Nick. <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys. Have a good night. Thank you for having me. Bye, Bye, guys. Anytime. (laughs) Anytime. You're welcome back. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the host only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.